size of this place? Abby Russell. Benny Caravello. Wow, check out the size of this place. Crikey. Uh, this is Amnesia Rebirth here. Uh, we're going to take a look at this pretty pretty quick, I, I think. Uh, I've mm -hmm. jumped ahead a little bit here. This is not the very beginning of the game. It's a part I played already. Uh, Amnesia Rebirth is a part of the Amnesia series. Uh, the Dark Descent, another game. Machine for Pigs, another game. Justine, another game in but it, which is, is a little bit different. In the same tone and style, but not necessarily a story continuation or a like maybe same world, but not necessarily the same story kind of thing, right? It's not like a sequel. Yeah, so this takes place about a hundred years after the Dark Descent, and I I've, I don't remember much of the Dark Descent. I'm not sure I finished it actually. I think uh, maybe some of that slopping around in the water scared me a little too much. <laughs> but um, the st the setup here is uh, I am the survivor of a plane crash and I was on an expedition to Africa and we, I'm now looking for the survivors of this crash. Uh, there will be spoilers in this, uh, kind of unavoidable at this point if you're looking for a fresh start then you know, listen, you're already interested in this game, don't watch this. <laughs> but there will be some yeah. spoilers in this uh, so I, I kind of can't avoid it in showing off what this game is and kind of how I feel about it so far where I am. Like, I'm a little bit past here. So let's play a little bit. Yeah. Uh, so okay. uh, again, and I've played a little, little bit, maybe like yeah. a couple yeah. hours, but not a ton. You and me up front? So yeah. what you're hearing in these flashbacks are um, uh, uh, kind of memories of my crew. <gasps> the yes, doctor. there was a plane crash, right? You woke up, and then yeah. you had to find everybody, uh, and there's sort of hints to where people were, but... Yeah, and uh, I have, uh, as one might guess from, let's say, the title of the game, Amnesia. Uh, th mm. There's some kind of um, memories that I am not able to access. Now, she's an artist, and she has drawn some of these memories, uh, and as you uncover them, I can go back and watch some like this. Get this little cutscene. Do you know her? The statue? I'm from Sudan, Mr. Sterling. This is Algeria. Oh, we don't get subtitles here. Tinhinan, the mother of the Tuareg? It's a I couldn't style. tell if these were memories, that, if they were hers, or if they were memories of, like, the crew that she's, like, kind of absorbing. I, so I think, and I think that's intentionally left vague, but I'm pretty sure yeah. that what seems like, again, there's going to be some spoilers, as we kind of suss this out this mystery, even in this quick yeah. look, that you are remembering these things in your journal and you're, you are, have been here before and there has been some kind okay. of lapse okay. in time and like you are coming back with some of this stuff. Um, yeah, gotcha. There's a lot, uh, again, from the title, the amnesia bit, and then the rebirth part, mm -hmm. there is a lot to do with children. Uh, and let's let's just kind of move forward here. So I am try I'm on the trail, trying to reconnect with my crew. Uh, that's my lantern. Uh, and let's open this door. Hold on. Let's open this door. Uh, matches. Don't waste all those. <laughs> Sorry. Hold on a second. Don't wait for the match to go down. Um, I think if you move quickly, it'll get rid of it. Yeah. Okay. Nice. Uh, no stamina bar or anything like that. It is kind of a, a spooky horror game. Um, sort of stealthy, go right? Explore like a if you bit. run, if you're loud. You're more likely to get yes. hurt. Yes. Uh oh. So something went down in this fort that I have entered. Hmm. Something bad has happened here. Uh. A lot of interactions with objects. Uh, yeah. Very amnesia. Kind of, and, and and some light puzzles. Well, actually, not super light. Sometimes they get a little. Uh, so my well, question yeah. for you, I yeah. really yeah. found the first image quite scary. Yeah. Do you find this game scary? <sighs> Not really yet. Yeah. Disturbing in some parts, I... for sure. Uh, tonally, yeah. tonally disturbing, but not in a scary way, in a kind of like, yeah, okay. come on. Uh, way. Mm -hmm. um, and th there are some jump scares, and, and I hopefully picked a part that is a little more tense. It's a very... Um, Actually, the scenes in this will be pretty dark. Darkness is a big thing here, so I, I'm not going to brighten it up for the quick look. So I apologize if it's hard to see some stuff, but that is how the game is supposed to be played. Yeah. Uh, from the little bit I played, I don't know. I feel like it didn't 
have the same kind of simplicity that the original one has. You know what I mean? Good to get to that radio. It, it, so, it's a little more open, at least in this early part. Yeah. Um, it seems like you can explore a lot more. I have read a little bit in kind of doing, uh, looking up some of this, that the game does get a little more linear in the second half. So, oh, uh, interesting. I don't know if I've reached that part again. I've done this already. Okay, so uh, there's this radio in here. I want to get in this room. We got to figure out how to get in this room. And some bad stuff has happened here. Now, this game relies a lot on matches. <laughs> so, mm -hmm. you've mat you're, it is the quest for more matches. Uh, our character here does not like being in the dark. Uh, and I think has some trauma, which also uh, affects that. But you will find these matches. Uh, sorry, that's my lantern. You'll find these uh, matches in, in the world. And you can light uh, candles. Now, once you light a match, it will run down. So what I have found is, like, you light a match, you better run to everything that you could light as quickly as possible. Yeah. Uh, but it, like uh, Abby said earlier, if you run, the match goes down. Now, I'm in a darkness space here. You can tell by the kind of color shift. She does not like being in the dark. If she stays in the dark too long, it's bad news. So you can see does the kind of- Does she die? Because I, I, I have experienced the warnings that's like, the fear will overtake in the dark, but it hasn't happened for me. And I can like see well enough in the dark that I'm like, I don't care for heartbeats. <laughs> So, uh, I don't know exactly when she expires or when that, that okay. part is over in the darkness. The stuff starts flashing on the screen and um, uh, it gets bad. Uh, I have tried not to use up all my matches and I've been doing the same thing you've been doing. Uh, yeah. When she looks at horrifying stuff, she also gets a little freaked out. You can see the edges of the screen start to oh, no candle there, kind of start to creep in like tendrils. Yeah. A big one. Didn't finish its meal. Uh, so the, my crew has been here before. Uh, I'm not gonna go through every bit of flavor text here, but I, I'll pick up some. You just kind of just get a sense of what happened. What was that? What is that? I don't know. A little pitter patter. Did you hear something? I heard little pitter patter footsteps. I'll get to you. Please don't stop. Yeah, there's clearly nothing here. Benny. What? Okay. <laughs> Throw it! Oh, Ooh, rub that bottle. Get the genie. It's your way out, Benny. Um, okay. So, what I need to do is find a way into that room, which means I've got to get upstairs. I have played this part before, so I'm just gonna kinda okay. move forward a bit. Help! Help! S. <laughs> beep, dee dee dee. Beep. The, the, okay. Uh, it's too bad that you can. Work. It's too bad. You can find like, stuff yeah, open in these, like matches. Stuff. Like I, uh, the only thing I found to pick up really were matches, and then matches. like little collectible like li like memories and letters and stuff. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's uh, th this one. Uh, the reason I picked this part is because there is some pickup stuff, puzzle solving. Okay. Uh, that we're gonna get to. So let's explore a bit and run around in the dark. So. Uh, light this candle. Like I said, you light these matches, and I immediately am like, okay, what can I light with these? What, what's around here? Yeah. I need to I light something. Ticking clock, ticking clock, ticking clock. Ticking clock. I gotta go. And these matches burn down so quickly. Oh, oh I didn't make it Oh, brutal. All right. So here is this elevator. Uh, this elevator. Uh, which will, uh, get me upstairs. But elevator's not functional. I need pieces for it. Uh, oh, so I need to like, find That's a like winch. a torture device. Well, he wants the winch off of that. So uh, the winch from that uh, that crossbow-ish thing, I'm sure that has a very good name, a ballista, I don't know. Uh, and so let's see if we can find that, and we will need uh, another piece, which I'll get to later. So let's okay. continue searching around. So you go into these dark areas and your vision kind of adjusts, which I like, I think it's a cool mechanic when your vision, adjust, when your vision adjusts. Uh, I'm gonna burn through yeah. a lot of these matches for this quick look because I I feel bad being in the dark so much. <laughs> like when I was screen. playing, I was going just match crazy, and yeah. I never really felt like I was never had matches. I feel like you pick them up mm. pretty pretty regularly. Uh, oh. You will find these these um, kind of dossiers on your crew, but I think when you're reading these in the dark, the game continues to have you in the dark. Oh really? Yeah. yeah. So the main premise is you're playing as this woman, and she's like seems to really be trying to find her husband. Yeah. 
Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to leave some of that to people playing. But yes. Yeah. I mean, that's like early on. She's asking about her husband. Like, right oh, away. yeah. Yeah. She, she definitely has a husband. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> sorry. I don't know if that's a cryptic. Whoop. Oh, oh, damn. <laughs> okay. Here's a part that this game, and this breaks a lot of this game for me. Pick up the damn lantern. Pick up the lantern. Hold the dang lantern. Please. Vinny, I, there's I no way she can ever pick up, say, a lantern or, I don't know, a candle. Wait, did the lantern go out? Uh oh. Did you do that? I didn't do it. Oh boy. Let's, uh, let's like this again, huh? Pick up the lantern! <laughs> it makes me, like, irrationally mad. Yeah, I mean, I remember like early on there was like a torch on the ground that you lit, and I was like, "Oh, perfect! Carry this around." Nope. All right, we're gonna keep moving. Here. Okay. So wait, you're looking you for do? like a chain winch? Yeah. Yeah, but right now I'm looking for more matches because can't pick up a lantern. Have you encountered? I assume there's a monster in this game. Uh, no comment. Okay. I also hate this noise that happens when you're scared. Yeah, like beetles crawling Especially all over the ground. It also first started happening if you're in the sun for too long. And I was like, is that her <laughs> skin frying? <laughs> yeah, you're right. It does happen uh, in the very <laughs> beginning as well. Oh, oh missed it again. <laughs> all right. Yeah, she's kind of a wimp. So many matches. Like a light, huh? So, like, this stuff is not pleasant, you know? Yeah. yeah. Oh, look at all them. Kitchen. I suppose I should be hungry. I don't think I could handle food. Okay. Uh oh. Right. It's going out? I thought I lit that. I don't know. Aha! Uh -huh. <gasps> ah! Oh! Jesus. Did you do that? Christ's name. Uh oh. Asshole! <laughs> How dare you! Oh, jeez. All right. <laughs> go pick that up. Blow back on that one. Yeah. Uh, let's go up here. Mm -hmm. This is stuck solid. Damn it, I've got to reach that radio somehow. Uh, so when I was when I was playing this on my own, I spent a lot more time kind of exploring every nook and cranny, trying to get all the story yeah. stuff. I'm, I'm kind of just trying to move forward here. So let's continue to move forward. Um, a lot of the... Whoa. What's up? <laughs> Let's, uh, remember this place? This was cool over here. Right? Yeah, it seems nice and well yeah. lit. Yeah. Just gonna put my helmet on. <laughs> uh, hyenas. That's what they said. Big old hyenas. hyenas? Yeah, when they were like, oh, yeah, look at I that mean, body. hyenas seem pretty dangerous, too. I wouldn't be thrilled to see that, yeah. either. Yeah, you know, I wouldn't want to be trapped in here with a hyena. You know, you're right. <laughs> yeah. I think oh, we're back oh, oh. to near... That's the radio. All right, you ready, Abby? Yes. Go! Okay. Whoops. Sorry, I stepped all over my instruction. Um, let's put this in here. So... There are multiple puzzles like this. So we'll go into our inventory. Oops, items. Uh, this is my lamp. Uh, I don't know if you had gotten that yet in your playthrough. But no. it's you it's burns through oil so quickly that it oh, is. Really? Oh, look at that. Hey, and I kicked over this bucket and some matches in there. I have found that uh, it's kind of fun. Like sometimes you'll just be like, since you can interact with so much stuff, sometimes you just move it's fun stuff. To just pick it up be, and like, yeah. Yeah, and sometimes there'll just be matches underneath it. I mean, you're really looking for matches this whole time. All right, so we have this winch on here. Uh, we can crank now it. ride the crank it. Oh, 
Oh no. Are you strong enough? Yeah, I'm strong. Does enough. it need to be looped? Wait, why are you no. not going up with it? Because there's a panel broken. So um, this has happened a couple of times in the game so far in my playthrough, where you actually have to take physical objects in the world, and uh, that's and they're cool. Not, yeah, they're not like super marked out. You know, some usually yeah. they're near, but like you're like, oh, okay, I can use this to uh, let's crank. Using your little brain. Mm-hmm. Or a guide, whatever gets you there. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's go here. Oh. Uh oh. It's those little pitter patter footsteps again. Uh oh. What is that? What? A compass? Uh yeah. Let me get. Let me light something. <laughs> That's my lantern. I don't want to burn all the oil. Okay. Let's. Okay, you're good. Why? Well, I needed. I needed that. Uh -oh. I needed that. Was this rude? That was simply That's... rude. Do you need a lantern right. too? Um, yes. Let's get a little bit through this. Hmm. Hello, is anybody in here? <laughs> Stick your head in Who there. Who did oh, that? Hi. I saw it um, first. All right, let's get to a part that is a little more well lit. Oh man, this thing goes through oil so quickly. <laughs> let's go. Oh, this floor doesn't look too sturdy. Excuse me. Ooh, matches. Uh, the floor is no good, is that what she said? Yeah. Hmm. This floor is fully important. You're heavier than you used to be. Oh, jeez. Um, Come on, girl. So, <laughs> you, let's see if I can get by the light. You get this compass, and this is a, this is a supernatural compass. Um, okay. And it is used, uh, not at this point, but in other parts of the game, to kind of travel between worlds. Uh, and, and you'll, you'll kind of get it fairly early on. Um, I don't know, Abby, have you gotten that yet? Uh, the compass? Yes, I did. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So it's pretty early. It, you get it. Uh, yeah. but I haven't, I haven't used it in, in a long time. So. Oh, really? Kinda, I was like using it weird. left and right in the beginning. Yeah. You use it all the time in the beginning and then, uh, I haven't used it for a while yet. This is funny too. When I was here. Let's see if she'll do it. I was like, well, I do have to get down here, so <laughs> let's just keep jumping on this floor that you say is going to break. <laughs> get it started, and I like, thought that's so funny. <laughs> yeah. Actually, it's fine. I know I just complained yeah. about it again and again, but you know what? We're okay. Oh, jeez. guess that's what happens when you jump up and down real loud. Yeah, sorry. I was just kind of goofing here for a bit. Like you said, is the game creepy? Like, it is kind of creepy when you're playing at night and, like, the stuff is happening and yeah. you're maybe in a basement. Um, but is it scary? Um, I don't know. It's I, I found that it was a really slow start and it has picked up a bit. Um, and, again, the reason I wanted to show... Oh, my gosh. You're, give me a candle. Um, the reason I wanted to show this part is I think this is more interesting than a lot of the early game. Like, yeah. Uh, a lot the early game was a lot of walking. I really encountered little to no puzzles. Um, yeah. Just walking, picking up stuff here and there. But again, I find, like... I find the story in this to be, like... I liked how simple the story was in the first one because there was like a lot of mystery and you uncovered so it was like I felt like you were kind of in the dark something around for a lot of it whereas this seems to like establish a story pretty quick which is fine I just don't find it particularly spooky Miss Triana I uh I don't know it was just a shadow Yasmin so that's me I'm uh uh it was a ghoul not Yasmin the other woman there yeah so I I am in these memories yeah Okay, have a cat with the text up. Uh, we're gonna move forward a bit. I, I, I found I have found the the story to be uh, propel me through yeah. this so far. Though again, someone with the, the beats in it, it's just like, wow. Come on, what you... all right. <laughs> let's uh, <laughs> uh, let's. I don't want to fall down there. To the radio. And... Oh, stop making sounds in this. Room. Yes, we're trying to get to the radio. My lantern's already out of oil. That jerk Let's stole the oil. There's another one of those uh, bios. Get it. 
All right. She's already figured out how to manage Sterling, Fairchild, even to freeze. Has a real way with smiling and pretending she gives a damn. I like her. Whatever, Hank. Hey, a minute. Nobody asked. I'm in. <laughs> All right. Uh, I think Hank is the expedition leader, so I need to put this on here. And I need to go find another wheel for uh -huh. that, which I believe is inside here, which would mean I gotta go here. Two matches left, Abby. Uh oh. Also, you, also you can only hold. Um, oh, that's who's that? <sighs> oh, my friends. They aren't sleeping. <laughs> Ah, oh, I missed it again. <laughs> These poor uh. bastards didn't die fighting. Look at this chap here. Suicide. Why? Uh. Why would they do that? Look, what's this? Well, that's nice. Wheel for you. Yeah. Are they gonna eat each other? We. Ah, I'm a cannon. Bang. Uh, let's get that wheel and get moving. But I think there's a wheel over... A loose wheel somewhere? Monsters, go away! I really mean it. Huh? <laughs> Thank you. Put this on here. I use humor as a shield against monsters. Let's push this onto that floor. Okay. It's pretty sturdy, but how sturdy is it? I don't know. Oh, look at those beetles on the ground. There are beetles. Buggies. Uh oh. Hey, just run some water on the tap. You won't, uh, it'll, it'll, you'll, they won't hear it. It'll drown it out. <laughs> Oh gosh. Yeah. Okay. Um so we we're are here in. by the radio. Yeah, we're in. Uh there's gonna be a little more spoiler stuff here, so uh I'm gonna it's gonna jump forward a bit, so hopefully you know, if you're watching this you don't mind, but just fair warning. If you've jumped jumped ahead the play ahead past what I just said, that's not all. <laughs> <laughs> It's Tazzy. Tazzy Trianon. Miss Trianon? Tazzy? Uh, uh, are you well? Yes. Guess you didn't want to hear well, from me? No. <laughs> not really, not at all. I, ca I can't remember anything. I'm pregnant. I'm lost. S Selim. A fort. I'm in a fort. We were here before, I think. I don't know. Doctor. Where are you? We have found help. People, a village. But, uh, yes, Min. She's not well. The fort. Yes, the fort. <laughs> Go through the mountain pass, and it is maybe an hour beyond there. The mountain pass? Yes, yes, I see the village here on the map. Oh, thank God. But, um, Doctor, please, there's something else I, uh, I keep blacking out. It, it feels like I'm losing control. I am aware of your recent problems, Miss Triana. In fact, um, Doctor, as quick as you can, may still be a chance. Doctor, hmm. Doctor Messier. Oh. I mustn't get scared. I mustn't get scared. I can do that anytime I want. You can look down and then hold me. I need to hold on. <laughs> is that, to, uh, does it help with your sanity or anything? Or is it just Yes, fun? it totally does. No, it's supposed to help with your sanity. Yeah. Yeah. It's a very death stranding. Baby. Uh, yeah. yeah. Look down and... I don't like this. Neither do I. So let's, uh... <laughs> <laughs> Let's see if we can, uh, what's the way out of here? I forget. Um, I do like that they make, like, the ultrasound heartbeat noise when you do it. I know. It. <laughs> Through your hands. All right. Oh, yeah, this part. Okay. Let's get past this part. 
There's bound to be something useful. Oh, can't we just get out of here? This place gives me the creeps. They're dead and gone. Can't hurt you now. <laughs> oh, Jesus! <laughs> Damn. What do we what do we do? Lose the keys! Lock the damn door! Okay. Well. Well. Shall well, we? Well. I guess so. If we have to. Peter, is that what that said? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Oops, wrong button. Mm-hmm. I don't like this. Just so I can get a little bit better look here. You know. Uh -oh. Sure you everything. Hammer, tongs, cock. Do you okay. think everything's gonna be okay, Vinny? No. Oh no. Need to get in there. Let's go this way. Oh, jeez. Abby. Um. Vinny. I think. Oh, running. Is running the best method? Shouldn't I'm you be here. quiet? Okay. I think I'm out of here. Get <laughs> my, my oh, I thought that was you for a sec, dude. It's a kind of. Keep maca. Keep maca. Uh, so. That's the quartermaster's office. I do actually okay. need to go back in there. <laughs> oh, no. Oh. Well, maybe another time, I guess. <sighs> I think it stopped. Well, never been a better time to go back in then. Keep maca. Keep maca. I'm my baby. <laughs> the, the illustrations were good. Never did the drawing yeah, she's a good time. artist. Yeah. Okay. So. I did this on my other playthrough. And mm -hmm. I was kind of okay. It was creepy, but I was okay. And I okay. crawled the whole time. But I'm not sure I had to. Interesting. Are you crawling or crouching? I'm crouching. I seem to be doing fine. Yeah, matches. Some blood splatter. And yeah, we're fine. And we're out of here. What do you think if video games made the crouch mechanic a crawl mechanic, and then for every video game you crawled everywhere instead of crouching? That'd be fun. That'd probably take too long. Yeah. Not that moving while crouching is that fast. No. You're right. Uh, but crawling would be too long. All right, we're running. Okay, I like it. Oh! So, oh, it's just okay. hanging out. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> that thing can climb. Yeah. One. One. <laughs> Dumb baby can't count. Get Kids an idiot. Monkey's not impressed. All right. We're going to go a little further. Uh, now that I have that salt peter. So... Malik, give me that gun. I want that weapon. We ran from that thing that's cool after it killed Jonathan. We escaped. 
through the big gates into the pass. Not those matches. Uh -oh. So I need to get through the big gate. Oops. Oh, the bird. Um, the gates. Push it. Yeah. You're too weak. Not on my own. I wasn't sure why they showed me this because I never use this water pump. <laughs> Even before I left this area, you know? Like, it's important. Right. A water yeah. pump. Anyway, you don't have any jugs or cups or anything, <laughs> so I guess just move on. <laughs> yeah, I was like, oh, I guess I'll have to come back here for the water pump, but I didn't. Uh, I have to go up here. Yeah, that's DLC. The water pump DLC. <laughs> Maybe it's like signs where the uh, alien or the monsters hate water. Oh, interesting. Matches? No matches? I do like breaking all the bottles. Ah! It is fun. Ooh, it's really ricocheted back though. Scary. I know, you gotta cover your, cover your eyes. Dangerous. Uh, this one. Do, 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 do. I needed to pick up a key, but uh, I hope I didn't pass it. Locked, I think. Oh boy. Yeah. Yeah. Um, did I miss? Did I miss a key? That would be a real shame. I'm oh, you're gonna have to like go through. back in. Yeah, I'm. Let's see. Uh, usually they're pretty oh. good about telling you what you need to do next. So I need to get through those. So you don't have a check. In oh, doors. I know where it is. No, I know. Okay, okay. okay. Oof. I got scared that, like, oh, I have to go back into that monster bit. <laughs> you see this tank here? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Have you ever played uh, Out of This World? Uh, no. Well, is that the game that you played where you, like, walk in and then you gotta, like, jump? That yeah, really explained it well, I think. But you know what I'm talking yes, about? You know, you know, yes, Mario Brothers or Out of This World. Um, <laughs> it is. <laughs> I really like it. There's a part in it where you do it, some tank stuff uh, in it. I think it's an, another world uh, in different territories. Anyway, I can't do this yet, but I did get that key that was there. Do you need to so I'll, get some ammo? I'll just load it up. Yeah, I, I gotta go make some. Actually, uh, that reminds me. I gotta eject, eject the casing. Happen. We'll do it. We. Oh goodness. See, what is here. There it is. Oh wow. Now we'll go. Oh, there. What's that noise? Sorry. I'm kind of jumping. Ah, okay. uh, there's animals and stuff around here. Let's go. Uh, let's go in here. And after we finish this bit is uh, when I think we'll call it. So we're gonna okay, go. Okay. Sounds good. Yeah, we're gonna go uh, through this door. And this might not take me as long as it took the first time because I've done it already. Hmm. Famous last words, right? Here we go. Yeah. Whoa. Whoa. Hello. Hello. Shh, Get Maka. Shh, little one. <laughs> it was a dream. Just a dream. I wonder if those are photos with a filter or they're actual sketches or sketches over photos. I don't know. I feel like it would be easier to hire an artist to sketch than it would to like pose a child. You know what I mean? I yeah. Place. I don't know. It's yeah, maybe. Nice. I guess they could have did like, um, not prop photo. What are the pictures that's like you pay for oh, them? Stock uh, photos. Yeah, yeah, stock photos. All right, so uh, this part, just to kind of summarize what's gonna happen here. Let's, we're gonna be here for a bit, so let's light this thing. Now the race is on. Light it. Come on, nice, light them all. Nice, nice, nice. Hey, yeah. Vinny, you should go back and just carry that big one. It seems useful to have. Oh, and even yeah, have the handle and everything. And not only can you, know. you not carry it, the button you would use to interact with it puts it out. I it know, it's it. like the worst. <laughs> uh, so I'm, I'm going to make ammo. So she, again, she has kind of nice notes here to kind of tell no you what bullet. she needs to do. Uh, that's why I needed that saltpeter from before. 
but let's go. There's a note here about if you don't have sulfur, you can make your own with oil of sulfur. Uh, so we're going to move and try and do some of that. For a oh. second there, I was like, oh, Vinny. Hmm. Did you dodge it or did she? Can you actually get hurt by uh, those? I did because I got hit by it last time. <laughs> That's really? I just, I, yeah, I just remembered this time. She shrugged it's it off so for me funny. last time, though. <laughs> yeah. Um, okay, so... This is, we're gonna be in here a little bit, too. Beep. Uh, like this. Yeah. Charcoal. Charcoal. She's French, right? Uh, yeah. Do not remove my damn tools. Okay, well, we're just gonna move the saw. Need a, Ooh, uh, turn some butter. Okay. I'm gonna... Oops, I'm gonna turn some charcoal. You just got to grind it, is that what you're doing? She yeah, she gets very proud of herself when you do this. Like just imagining her like <laughs> picking these up with her hands and putting it in her pocket, just a bunch of yep. loose charcoal dust. <laughs> Grab that loose charcoal. Alright, let's go get the uh, oil of sulfur, which is in this fun room here. Mother of God. What's wrong with her? Oh, it's a bad uh -oh. room. We'll uh, refill our lamp before we go in there. Oh, yeah, that's not good. Oh, yeah, that's bad. That's quite the scene, huh? Yeah, it's bad. It's a bad room. I don't like this. Nothing a little light can fix, you know? Yeah. Well, some candles, oh, she'll what? just feel fine. Yeah, liven up the place a little bit. Oh, well, that's the end yeah. of that. <laughs> no way I could take this paper and just light it on there and bring it over here to this candle. <laughs> that would no, be impossible. No way. Uh, I've tried it. I, I, I will try it again, but I have I have tried to do that and it does not. It has not worked for me. <sighs> so let's try it again. Oh, I can't even pick that up. Light the wine oh. bottle. All right, uh, this room is Careful. booby trapped. Careful, this is rigged. Some sort of trap. Throw a rock at the trap. <laughs> That's what I would do. Hey, no, that one's Too dark, open a window. Ah. Take that. Is the other one stuck? One of them is stuck. This is a puzzle. So I'm gonna wind up going out here. I spent a long time doing the wrong this thing for this puzzle. Um, I thought like the other thing I needed to find a board to uh, oh. lay across here, and I did find a board to lay across there. <laughs> and I, walk, I brought it all the way back here finally, <gasps> like through a bunch of doors, and then laid it down, and it fell into the pit. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, you're kidding me. Uh, oh, I would have loved to have seen that. <laughs> it turns out that's not what you're supposed to do. Oops. So. I just moved some rocks. Yeah. Uh, Why even do that? Just open a window? Yeah, well, no, you're going to close this one. Open this one. And then uh, you're going to oh, run and start. Oh, a little jumpy jump. jump yeah. She's taking a lot of risks. All yeah. things considered. Huah! Taking risk for two. Here we go. Open it up. Why is she scared? Okay. I, mean, I guess she just does something reckless. Ah, but... it's like in a, in a bad room. Also, this room ain't. This room isn't good. Yeah. Um, let's see. There's a part here. The part here, I'm not sure if I did the right way, so I'm gonna do it exactly the same way I did it last time. So let's see. Okay. Grab this. This is uh, Laudanum. It's part of the story stuff. She was that prescribed was in the it by original her doctor. Game, I think. Yeah, for um, to deal Don't with trust the doctor. Kind of her nerves. I think I'm doing this right. You're supposed to be yanking it. Yeah, I was yanking that. And we're gonna come back there in just a second. First, we're gonna open up this cabinet. Medical supplies. Hmm. Bingo. Bingo, uh, bingo, bongo. You this, uh, and you do get this note. Which says uh, in bold letters, do not use in children under one year old or during pregnancy. It may cause respiratory distress. 
Huh. Uh, it's a good thing to know. Yeah. Poison. Yeah, good thing to know. Uh, good finger clip art, though. Uh, I wonder... Uh, how many other games have, like, a pregnant protagonist? Um... I feel like I if they do, they make... they're all exclusively, like, a, horror games. Yeah. They make, they like, make a big to-do of it. It, it. It's the whole thing. Yeah, right. Exactly. Yeah. Um, okay. So this is a grenade. It was tied to this mm -hmm. thing. I think I have to do this, but I'm not sure. So I'm gonna do it again anyway. <laughs> <And then. laughs> why? Why? Why didn't you just open it? Oh God! Uh, Come on. You can't. It wasn't tied anymore though. You unhooked uh, it. The door. It yeah. still remains locked. Oh, um, interesting. So, so I think that's what you have to do. Oh wait! Well, you, you know what? You did it. Yeah. Sorry about the French flag. I mean, there's also there was also this hole in the floor. Maybe I could come through. <laughs> but you know, listen, I don't think that was there. I think it was blocked before. I don't know. That's fun though, right? We're just gonna run past here, go back in here, get out of the way. I've got places to be. Okay. Um, you use this to boil that uh, sulfur, I, and I like stuff that like this where it's like, oh, yeah, doesn't look like Actually, it stands like out or anything. Yeah, do the work for it. Yeah, and it's like, cool, I'll put the lid back on. That's fun. I'll make sure I have like a Like a little matchy match. Yeah, and we'll close this. Keep the heat in. It's like an easy bake oven. Yeah. And it, I don't know how long it takes. I kind of just like went and stared at a dead body again for a little bit and came back. <laughs> like, yeah, that really is a mess, huh? All right. Let's see if that works. Yep. Oh, yep, there we go. <laughs> All right, come back through here. All right, here we go, Abby. I'm gonna take okay. this. I think we can, I'm gonna do it differently this time. I'm gonna combine it with this. Combine, I'm combine. I, did, I just put them all in one by one last time. This time, salt, I'm Peter. It all. There we go. Is that different from so, regular salt? Yes. Okay, I'll take your word. Uh, you shouldn't do that. But, um, here we go. I have a giant round for this tank. Okay. Here we go. Hi! Who's what? that little one? Kitty cat. Get cool. <laughs> cool. Yeah, nice cat. Mom's gonna go drive a tank. <laughs> um, all right, here we go. Get in there. Get in there. Here we go. Let's take this out. Load it up. Ready. I almost wish I What could go wrong? I, I, I'm not gonna miss it on purpose here, but I kind of want to, because I, I don't know what, I don't know if you get like a second chance, but let's just do it. Oh boy. Wow. What's that doesn't sound good. <laughs> hmm. Seemed like a bad I sign. The, I need that head. Seen a bunch of beans. Alice? Oh, Little one? Uh oh. Beans gone mm. wrong. Mm. 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 What? This part's like a little weird too. Fuck that hurts. Yeah. Uh, you have a tank uh, on you. God, little one. Oh boy. I felt them break. I felt oh. them break, but they're not broken now. What the hell? I don't think I want to feel my ribs break. No. Right? I don't know how to tell. Shit. I hope I haven't. I haven't hurt you in there. Just the tank. God damn it. 
Uh, let's get out of here, and then we're gonna call it. We're gonna call it here. Okay. No, this is a this is a whole other level here. Yeah. Uh, but, all in all, what are your thoughts? You know, I I thought the first amnesia. Oh, did I lock the thing? Oops. Hold on. Sorry. Let me um. <laughs> Let me just get outside of here. I thought the far, first amnesia was really unique and interesting in, in terms of the yeah. the creepy factor and all that. This one, I'm not getting the same. And again, I didn't finish the first amnesia, or at least I don't yeah. remember finishing it. I played a but lot of it, but I also was very scared, and I don't know if I actually finished it. This one, I'm not getting the same vibes, but probably because the first amnesia, I think, set a pretty good tone that a lot of other games yeah. copied. Um, yeah, that's true. And so we've we've had a lot of this before, and it doesn't seem as novel as maybe that did at the time. So I don't know. I um, a very slow start for certain in this game, and I don't know how long it is. I this might be uh, it, it, people have finished it. Could probably say in the comments on giantbomb.com. Uh, this might be a little more than halfway or or less than halfway. I'm not exactly sure. Uh, yeah. Chapter wise. So if you if you're curious, maybe look in the comments. Um, but. I don't know. It's it's I'm gonna Google it, like, how I, 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 long to beat Amnesia Rebirth. Anyway, didn't mean to interrupt you. Uh, so between six to twelve hours. Okay. Wow. Wait. What? That's <laughs> that's. It's, a, uh, yeah. That's I guess if you want to collect all the items uh, I see, and I see, explore okay. more in the world, it can exceed see, six. Okay. But six is, I think, is maybe like uh the the fastest you would make it. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So I, I don't, I don't know exactly what the length will be on there. I think the story is interesting enough where I might just try and see it through. Uh, but uh, I might just start. Uh, we'll see. I don't know. Some of the puzzles I found a little. Fr <laughs> Oops. That's the sign what? that you want to check again. My baby. That was you. I can feel you. Like some of this stuff. I you move. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Like, oh my god, I don't know. Like, I don't, I'm not, I don't hate it. It's not hateful, but like, you know, I don't know. It's a little silly. It, it, you know, maybe it's, maybe it's not for me, let's say. It's not, I'm not having like an emotional, like, oh, thank goodness. <laughs> oh, I was worried, you know? Yeah, and like, you know, the Death strand. It, it's hard to not think about Death Stranding when I see that stuff, and that makes it goofier. Yeah. So, uh, this is Amnesia Rebirth. Uh, this is a, a portion of it. So, uh, available now. Not on Xbox One, actually. So, it's PS4 okay. and, and PC um, for now. And nothing announced, I don't think, at least at the time of this recording, on uh, Xbox One. But uh, GOG, Epic Game Store, Steam... And PS4. So, uh, thanks, Abby. Did we say the price before? I think I did. It's $30. I think it was 30 bucks, right? Yeah. yeah. Thank mm -hmm. you, Vinny. Thank you, you Amnesia. Got it. Oh, thank you, Amnesia. Thank you, Gibmaka. 